The power steering pump on the W211 models with the six-cylinder engine is mounted to the lower left side of the engine as indicated by the red arrow. To access this, begin by removing the engine covers. Working at the engine cover, red arrow, pull off the two front air duct hoses, green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off the engine cover air filter housing. Then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove them from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then pull the engine cover air filter housing straight up to remove it. Four metal clips that grab onto the rubber mounts hold on the cover. The front two are shown by red arrows. The rear of the cover has two as well. Once detached, remove the engine cover air filter housing from the engine. Locate the accessory drive belt tensioner, red arrow, on the left side of the engine. Use a ratchet with a long handle and a 17mm socket. Rotate the drive belt tensioner counterclockwise to release the tension and slide the belt off the pulleys. Red arrow. If you're going to be reinstalling the same belt, make sure to mark the direction of rotation before removal. Remove the engine drive belt. Please see our tech article and video on engine drive belt replacing for detailed information by following the link at the end of this video. Use a suction pump, suck the power steering fluid out of the reservoir. Working at the left corner of the engine, below the power steering reservoir, green arrow, using a 27 mm wrench, remove the power steering pump high pressure line as indicated by the blue arrow. The high pressure steering line is sealed with two copper gaskets. Be sure to remove them from the line and pump, then replace with new when reinstalling. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver or a 7 mm nut driver and remove the power steering return hose clamp. Then remove the return hose from the pump. Remove the hose slowly, have the oil pan ready to catch the power steering fluid. Note if needed, remove and move the coolant reservoir aside. I find removing the mounting fasteners and then slightly lifting it and leaving it at an angle makes enough room to work. Please see our tech article and video on coolant reservoir replacing for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. Next, you are going to remove the rear fasteners and the ground strap. This photo shows the back of the pump as viewed from the left side of the engine. The yellow arrow points to the front of the valve cover. The red arrow points to the power steering reservoir. Start by removing the ground strap, remove the E12 fasteners, blue arrows, then lay the strap aside. Next, remove the two E12 power steering pump fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. I like to break all the rear fasteners free. I then remove them by hand. Note the length of these bolts as the rear bolts are shorter than the front bolts. Using a ratchet with a long handle and a 17 mm socket, rotate the drive belt tensioner counterclockwise to release the tension and allow access to the lower power steering pump blue arrow E12 fastener, red arrow. Hold the tensioner in place while you remove the fastener. Once out, release the tensioner. Directly above the fastener you just removed, green arrow, is the final E12 pump fastener, red arrow. Remove it. Next, remove the E10 power steering reservoir fastener, green arrow, then slide the power steering pump towards the radiator to remove the reservoir from the oil filter housing, green arrow. Next, remove the pump from the engine and drain the remaining fluid into a suitable container. Place the pump on a bench. Use a flathead screwdriver and remove the reservoir retaining clip, red arrow. Then slide the reservoir off the power steering pump. Transfer the reservoir over to the new pump. Then lower the new power steering pump into the engine compartment. Slide the reservoir into the notch in the oil filter housing, red arrow. Install the power steering pump fasteners and tighten. Then reassemble the remaining items in the reverse order of removal. Once complete, fill in bleed the power steering system. Before starting the engine, fill the power steering reservoir with clean fluid to the max level on the dipstick. 
Start the engine and turn the steering wheel fully left and right three times. Turn the engine off, check the fluid level, and add fluid until it reaches max on the dipstick. When full, fluid should be clear and foam free. Foam or bubbles is a sign of air in the system. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.